I am speaking with David McCarter. And David, uh, you were about to give a presentation about surviving the tactical interview. Uh, this is of great interest to the audience. Give me the first rule of thumb about what you should be doing if you want to survive the technical interview. Survive the technical interview, the first thing really is being prepared. I interview people at my company almost every week, you know, and I've been interviewing software engineers almost since the day I became a software engineer. And the thing I see the most is people are just not prepared. They don't research the company, they don't research the job, you know, they don't study for technical questions, which is what my talk is all about. So what, I mean, what technical questions? The first two are, are basics, but how do I study technical questions? I mean, there are a bazillion. In fact, I was just researching, I, th I think it was a list of 100 different technical questions. Yes, I can't research all 100. No, you can't, and, and, and that's just it. You can't know everything, you know, but the, the, the thing is, is uh, you know, I have a, you know, a, a document that I'm selling on my DVD, which is 70 some pages of technical questions, right? And these are things, .NET, database questions I've been compiling for over 10 years. And that's actually what I go through and that's actually what I use when I interview people, right? And, and we never expect somebody to know, no one has ever gotten every question correct. You know, the, the whole point with the technical questions is to see where you really are compared to what you think you are, or at least where you are for the company, right? And uh, at my company, you know, I'm usually the first person you see and if you don't get past me, that's it. You know, because you're a software engineer, you need to be technical, right? So the big thing is being prepared, going through questions. You can Google it, there's tons of questions on Google, but it's just going through those and kind of getting it in your mind. In so, you so let me ask, what are the interviewers looking for? When you're doing a technical interview, what, what do you need to demonstrate and show? I mean, if I don't, let's say, let's say I look at this and go, I'm not gonna get this right. <laughs> But what can I do to show my process to show that I'm on the right path? Okay, so the, what you said is exactly right. You know, no one knows everything. And the one thing I look for is people who are willing to admit they don't know, right? And well, then I'd be a great hire. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and actually it's one of my, my talks on this session is that know what you don't know. And it's, it's totally okay to tell somebody if they ask you, for example, this was asked of me once. How do you do a bubble sort, right? And I, I think most people know how to do that, right? Well, I said, well, you know, I can do it in .NET, but they wanted me to write it on a board. And I go, uh, no, I, there's one line of code I can do in .NET to do that. Why would I write it on, on the line? But the thing is, you know, again, it goes back to know what you don't know. And so, how do, so how do I demonstrate, like, I don't know this, but how my logic works. How do, how do I show that? Because I'm assuming that's what they're looking for, right? Right, right. So, well, there, there's two things there. So one is know what you don't know and admit it. You know, and you say, you, I don't know this, but I've been, you know, what I usually tell people in the session is if you don't know something, then follow up with something positive. Like I've been reading about that or I've been researching it, but I just actually haven't done it, right? As far as the logical part, we ask questions um, that seem kind of silly for the logical part. And, and that's what trips people up sometimes is they're not expecting a question like, um, one of the questions, this actually comes from Microsoft, is um, why are manhole covers round, right? And, and it, the first time this asked of me, I just sat there going, what, really? But you know, the whole point of that is, is um, trying to get out your logical thinking, right? And that's some of the questions we ask, silly questions like that, because the whole point with a question like that is not to answer it, because some of the questions really don't have an answer. The whole point of the question is you're supposed to speak out loud your thinking process. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I think that, and do you find a lot of, you know, developers just have a hard time talking it out loud? They do, you know, because, Developers are internal, you know, we, we think, you know, we, we sit in the basement and play games, well not me, but some people do, and developers in the most part aren't super, um, I'm not sure. Extroverted. <laughs> Extroverted, right? And, and that's part of the problem with developers is that they're not like that, they're internal, they think. But when you're in an interview, which is a good thing, right? But when you're in an interview, you need to think out loud because otherwise we don't know how you're thinking, we can't read your mind. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense. Hey, thank you so much for your time, and you've got a, a presentation to do now. <laughs> thank you.